One of our favorite ways to host is a potluck, but there are right ways and wrong ways to potluck. Let's talk about them. Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. If you are the potluck host, you have two main responsibilities. Number one is to provide the main dish. And that could be a meat dish or a chicken dish, but it's enough for everyone. It could also be like a chili. You'd be responsible for making that main element. The second item is the dinnerware. Now folks, it's a potluck, which means it's not formal, but I do not want you using plastic paper plates and utensils. Get out your dishes, your real dishes, and host this dinner party like I want you to. You can just put them right into the dishwasher, they'll be done. Trust me, it is better in every way to use real dishes. Ah! Dishes are done, man. Once you've provided the main dish and the dinnerware, you're on to answering guest questions like when they say, what can I bring? It is a potluck, so people are bringing. You want to provide them a category, but you want to narrow it down. Like you might say, we'd love a salad. That way they can choose what kind of salad. You might say, we'd love a hearty bread. They can choose the kind of bread. You might say, we'd like a vegetable. They can make the side. They will make what they're comfortable making or providing, but you have helped them narrow it, not just left it, bring whatever you want. Guests don't like that. Narrow it down for them. These people invited us for dinner. We have to bring something. Why? You could also, when asked, what can I bring? Suggest their specialty. Remember those old church potlucks where everybody would show up and Sister Johnson decided not to bring her yeast rolls and a ripple of <gasps> went through the crowd? Well, that's because that's her specialty. So if you know one of your guest's specialties, if you know what that is, go ahead and request it. So if you have a baker coming and you just love their cookies, suggest that. They might decide not to bring those particular cookies, but you could at least give them a tip. My specialty, boiled potatoes. <laughs> Let's say someone does provide really great yeast rolls, like my friend Mary. I am always going to recommend that. Let's say that someone has an unbelievable potato au gratin. Suggest that. Really great cooks, cook geniuses, love to be appreciated. Let's let them have at it. You also want to consider your non-cooking guests. They are everywhere. They love to come to parties, but they don't feel comfortable cooking for others. That's fine. They can bring non-cooking items like napkins, wine, chips. You know, if you make chili, scoops are fantastic. Let them bring that. I cannot tell you how many times I have stopped on the way to a dinner party and picked up bags of ice. Also a great Thing for your non-cooking guests. It helps them feel appreciated and like they provided something to a pot look. I just don't like the idea that anytime there's a dinner invitation, there's this annoying little chore that goes along with it. You know, you're getting to be an annoying little chore yourself. <laughs> Before any of the guest food arrives, you want to have multiple cooking utensils ready. A guest may bring something that requires a spoon or even better, a slotted spoon. But guess what? They're not gonna bring those spoons from their own kitchen because they could get left behind, forgotten, never to be seen again. So you wanna have those ready. Don't make them hunt for them. Just go ahead and get out all your utensils. You probably have a pretty good idea of what kind of things are coming. If a guest is bringing wine, you'll wanna have your wine bottle openers, diffusers, anything that helps them with this ready. They're not gonna bring those because once again, they could leave them behind. You might have a guest who needs a giant fork for serving, have that ready. Just get them all out. Even if you don't use them, just have them ready so that there isn't this frantic looking in all your drawers in your kitchen to get the party started. Just be ready. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. And finally, if you're the host, send home a moderately cleaned dish for your guest. So if the guest arrived with candied carrots, 
which are awesome. Please come to my house with candied carrots. They're not gonna wanna take a crusty candied carrot dish home. If there are leftovers, you could put them in a leftover container, but then just rinse out the dish for them. You don't have to clean, clean it. I often do that, but sometimes they just want it to be basically cleaned out so when they get home, they can just put it right in their dishwasher and be done with it. You don't want it moving around in the car with crusted stuff around the outside. That's not great for a guest. You can also put that dish in just a grocery bag to help keep it tucked in in case it does get a little dirty on the side and send that home with them. Your guests will greatly appreciate it. Now, what if you are the guest? Are there potluck rules for the guest? Yes, there are. Clearly we need to set some rules. If you are the guest, a potluck is also sometimes called dish to pass, bring a dish, shareable meal. So you're sharing something. So you need to bring something, anything, anything. Now, if you ask your host, what can I bring? And they supply you with something that is fantastic. But if your host isn't necessarily savvy in that way, and that's okay, you could have an idea of what to bring based on what the main meal is. So just ask, well, uh, what's the main dish? And then you can come up with sides. But remember, you can always bring a bottle of wine. You can always bring a candle. You can always bring flowers. There is something you can bring. You just need to find it. However, if you are the guest, you are not to, never to, don't you dare bring leftovers. Even if you made too much mac and cheese last night. No, no. That is leftover food for you. It is not for the party. Now, the one exception to this is if you know you're going to a potluck, so you go ahead and double the recipe for what you are having that night. Let's say you can make one dish for your dinner that night and you make a separate dish that you're going to provide for the potluck. That's perfectly fine. Many dishes are make ahead. You can put it unbaked, into your refrigerator and then bake it just before you go to the potluck. So that is a win-win for that kind of thing, but not a leftover because you happen to have leftovers. Don't you do it. We will have words. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And that brings me to the next tip. If you do bring a dish that is supposed to be served warm, you want to bake that dish before you leave the house. Why? Because you may not commandeer your host's stove, oven, refrigerator, microwave, nothing. You are not allowed to do that because your host is hosting with the main dish. And so that's their oven, their stovetop, their microwave, their refrigerator. They're doing all this prep work for you. You are simply providing a dish. So if your dish is hot and you want it to stay hot, you can invest in a very affordable insulated carrier. We have them here. They're wonderful. You just zip them in. Usually they have a little handle and off you go to the party. They will stay very warm, but it's insulated and it will also stay cool. So let's say you're taking a chilled dessert and you want it to stay chilled. Same thing. Insulated carrier, zip it up carry it off. And sometimes you can ask your host, do you have room in your refrigerator for this dessert? Or do you have room in your freezer for this dessert? If they do, great. If they don't, you have your insulated carrier already and you have not inconvenienced your host. And finally, if you have the time, help your host clean up. This is an invaluable contribution to the evening. If the trash needs taking out, take it out, put a new bag in. If the floors need sweeping, sweep. If the counters need cleaning, just spray them down, wipe them down. It happens very quickly. If the plates need scraping, scrape them into the trash, into the garbage disposal. You wanna make sure you ask about that. Does this go in the disposal? Do you have a disposal? If you have drinkware sitting around with half full water or sodas or wine, empty those for your host. This lets your host get to bed at an optimal time after all the company is left. And this will also get you invited back to the next potluck. So 
Potlucks are a wonderful and economical way to throw a dinner party. I encourage you to either host or be a guest as often as you can. One of our favorite ways to... <laughs> And take two. Host is the word. How about a salad? I could use my glasses instead of squinting. That would be a good tip. Yeah, good tip, Chris. Good tip. If the wine needs to breathe, you could... <laughs> I cannot think of losing my mind. I'm seeing a giant Cheerio and my left ear is plugged. <laughs> <laughs> a little distracted. Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.